Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. I want to share with you what my friend did. I want to share with you what God did. He gave me a vision. The first thing I saw was that needle. I saw it. I was just, I was wide awake sitting up in the hospital bed. And I saw a long needle moving forward into skin. And I did not want to see that because I knew that meant thoracentesis. So, just to describe what that is, the needle goes in through your back. It goes into the lining of your lung. Once it touches your lung, for me, it hurts. You know, I'm a ninny when it comes to the inside of my body. I'm tough on the outside, but on the inside, I'm not used to invasion. And that hurt like the dickens. Now, and that's where they leave the needle to draw out the fluid. Well, from my lungs, they drew out uh, 650 cc's, which is equivalent to three glasses, three glasses of water, three eight ounce glasses of water, 24 ounces total. Okay, now here's the thing. When I saw the vision, I was not a happy camper. They wanted to do my procedure yesterday. I couldn't face it. I could not face it. I told the Lord, and this is what I'm saying this for some of you who are having a hard time facing things, because we all need each other's testimonies to help us know what God's able to do in weird situations in life. This was weird for me. I couldn't go through with it. I just, I kept stalling and stalling and finally they canceled the order. Well, this morning, uh, last night, my friend Thelma, I talked to her in depth and I was crying because I did not want to do the thoracentesis. You have no idea how much I did not want to do that. And I had been praying to the Lord, if you really, 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 really find it necessary for me to go through this procedure, that I really, really, really need you to push me off the cliff, because I don't think I can jump on my own. But let me tell you what God did. My friend Thelma sat down because I asked her. She has a particular gift of getting answers from God. And I asked her if she would have the time to take with the Lord and really burrow down deep and ask if I should take this treatment or if I should not. Yes, I should. No, I should not. Well, <clears throat> she thought <coughs> maybe God would do the healing himself. I thought and hoped that God would tell me, I got this. Well, he had it. But he didn't have it the way I wanted it. And one thing I believe, when you obey God, it's got to turn out right. Now, people disobey and go through all that. I'm not talking about relational. But I believe when you obey God, it turns out right. It's fail safe. Well, this is what I did. <laughs> yeah. Thelma sat. We got off the phone talking, and she spent, I guess, a couple of hours just digging deep in her backyard, just digging deep in the spirit. And she was praying and praying, and she kept saying, Lord, you know how Pat doesn't want to do this. It scares her. It hurts her. I don't see how she can keep taking this pain. And she was crying for me. She was literally crying tears for me, begging the Lord to find another way. And when she started asking God if he really wanted me to go through this, if it was really necessary, check this out. She saw a vision of big, fat, bold letters. Y-E-S. Well, she wasn't happy with the answer either. So she went back to the Lord and went over all that I had to go through and how it felt and how unpleasant it was. Okay? And she said, now, is this really you, Lord? You know how we do when we don't want to hear the answer. Is it really you, Lord? And God, again, gave her a vision. Y-E-S. Okay? 
She's going round and round and round the same mountain over and over and over. She will not leave it alone, beating a dead horse. Every time she asked the question, she couldn't even get all the words out. And God would have this bold Y-E-S. After, uh, oh my goodness, I think she said it was over 15 or 20. She finally, she dreaded calling me to tell me that. But she called me at the hospital and said, Pat, I really hate to tell you this. I really do. But all I keep getting from God is yes, yes, yes. She told me the whole detail, more detail than what I'm telling you. And I said, okay. And I told the Lord, I'm only doing this because of you. So you can't allow complications. You can't allow problems. You, I really need you to diminish the pain. I mean, if you guys knew how much I cried that morning before when I wasn't ready, and then by that evening, I was begging God, Lord, I really need you to help me go through with this because nothing in me wanted to do it. God blessed me so he had the right person. And I asked the Lord to pick the staff that worked on me. <clears throat> this man, <clears throat> the other two times I was screaming, you guys. Uh, I admit I'm a big baby. I was screaming. And when this guy did it, I was like, oh, okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough. And then he said, we're in. He didn't have me screaming. He took it in such baby steps. He was so tender about how he handled me, the big chicken, that it was actually tolerable. It was a tolerable pain. Then when the lady went to pull it out, the ultrasound, lady went to pull it out. She took it in inches, just taking it out so slowly like he went in. And it was hurting, but it, she did it in such tiny moves. I said, like, ah, ah, ah. And then boom, she snatched it out once it was out of my lung. So I say that to say that God can help you go through some tough times this is a, this was tough for me, you guys. It was really hard. The stay in the hospital was fine. I don't have an issue with that. The food in the hospital was lousy. I don't have an issue with that. The treatment in the hospital was wonderful. But I didn't want to face the pain. And God shoved me off the cliff by speaking to my friend. And they ended up getting three glassfuls of fluid from my lung. I feel so much better. I can breathe so much deeper. I can exhale so much deeper. It started out hurting. Right after they pulled that needle out, I felt all kind of pain in my lower left side. And they kept saying, you got to make yourself breathe. And I did. And I kept praying and asking God to help me. And I breathed and breathed and breathed till the pain went away. And I breathed and breathed till the fluttery feeling went away. And I kept breathing all day long. I would, every couple of times, every about every 15 minutes, I'd do two or three real deep breaths and hold it. I couldn't do that in the last two months, not that deep. So I thank God and I want to tell all you guys how much I thank God for enabling me to face this giant. Because this was a giant. All I wanted to do was run from. And I've been... <clears throat> yeah, so I'm not going to keep going on and on. But I hope it encourages you to know that if it's difficult, the main one you got to call on is God. Because he's the one that'll pick your staff. He's the one that'll pick the people to help you. He's the one that will make things work out so that you can actually tolerate some things. And ultimately, he's the one that heals. So I thank you for praying for me. I bless and praise God's holy name for girding me up and helping me face the giant. And I say, 
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And God bless you, YouTube family. God bless you. Thank you.